welcome back once again to Rob's Homemade on Sunday Recipes and today we are going to be making a lamb and spinach curry with a load of sides which I'll show you later which I'm going to make some raita dip some tomato relish dip and we've got rice we've got naan bread no we've got chapatis We've got poppadoms. I'm just going to put the whole lot together on the table and make it like a buffet style later when we can all tuck in and eat. Well, me and the missus can anyway and enjoy. So anyway, onto the ingredients. We have one tray, about 300 grams of diced lamb mince, diced lamb mince, diced lamb cubes, a huge bunch of chopped coriander. What other package you get in the shop? About just over three quarters three to four green chilies, depending on how spicy and how hot you want it. You can add more, you can do whatever you want. Our usual sea salt, 300 milliliters of vegetable oil, garlic and ginger in the handy squeezy bottles, which I always use, I could use fresh, but then there the meat in the simple. Ground turmeric, Two large white onions chopped. Chili powder, we're not gonna use all this. We're gonna use about a tablespoon. We have a bag of baby spinach, Tesco's finest. Um, we're gonna use the whole bag. You might think, Rob, that's a lot of spinach, but when you, if you've ever cooked spinach before, it just will stand and it'll be lovely. And 700 milliliters of water. I suppose you could use veg stock or beef stock for this. I might change it to beef stock, I don't know yet. We'll see. But the recipe just said water. But I change things left, right, and center, which is what makes them my own. So that's all the ingredients. So let's get cooking our curry. Hi guys, let's get cooking then. We've got our gas on medium to high heat. We're gonna add our 300 millilitres of olive oil. Get that heated to a good temperature. And then we're gonna chuck in our onions and cook until lightly golden brown. So here goes, onions in. Stir fry this for two, three minutes until all your onions are golden brown and delicious. Right guys, our onions have had about three and a half, four minutes and starting to turn a light golden brown. We're gonna add our green chilies and our coriander to the mix. Give that a good stir. It's looking so nice already. Just the onions, coriander, green chilies, all there, sizzling away. So I'm gonna give that about a couple of minutes. And then we're going to add our ginger, garlic, turmeric, and chili powder will be next in the mix. You can just smell that coriander bubbling away. Oh, absolutely amazing. We're going to give this a couple of minutes and then we're going to add our next ingredients. Right, that's had two or three minutes. So we're now going to go with our garlic. We're just going to reduce the heat a little bit, not much. And then we're going to throw in about a tablespoon of garlic, same of ginger. Oh, love a bit of ginger. Can't beat ginger in a curry. Give that a quick stir. Oh, the smell coming out of this, guys, is just 
so um, then you need to sort our turmeric out because put it in the packet. So we're gonna go. This stuff gives curries that amazing colour. So a tablespoon of turmeric and a tablespoon of chili powder. Give that a stir. And you can see the colour changing. I'll show you. Look at that. Colours change to an amazing bright colour. So I'm going to give that another minute or two just to fry off, get them spices going. That's had a couple of minutes. We are now going to add our lamb to the mix. Get that all in there. Give this about a good five minutes with the lamb in there. Just to get browned off and coated in all the oils, the spices, the onion, the garlic, the ginger, everything you've already put in. This is looking so good. So we're just gonna like I said, give it five minutes just to give it a good stir, good mix. Let it fry away. And then we will be adding the last couple of ingredients before it sits on the stove for a good hour. Right, that's had a further five minutes. So we're now gonna add our salt. A good pinch, about a tablespoon of salt goes into the mixture. And like I said, the whole bag of spinach is going in. You might think I'm crazy, but trust me guys, you need all this spinach this is going to wilt down and it's going to bring an amazing flavour. So we're going to give this a stir. Get all these spinach leaves curried, curried, covered in all that lovely turmeric chilli powder, oil, garlic, ginger, all those lovely amazing spices. So we're just going to stir this now until it's wilted down. See it's already gone down to next, next to nothing already guys. This is going to be one of the best curries I think I've ever made. It's the way it's looking so far. It's looking banging. I'll show you in a sec guys. See what I mean? All that spinach is wilted right down. If that pan was full about a minute and a half ago, and now it's down to that. Oh, looking so good. This is a quick, simple, easy recipe as well, guys. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to add our last ingredients, our 700 milliliters of water, there we go. I'm going to give that a stir. And it's going to sit on a low heat with the lid on for about, I'm going to give it a good hour and see what happens. And then take the lid off and then cook it down a bit more. And see where we are after that, guys. So there we are, our spinach and lamb curry is on, it's good, it's happy days. So our lid's going on and then it's going to sit there for a good hour on a low heat. Right guys, our curry has had nearly an hour, it's had 15 minutes to reduce down. It wasn't as thick as I would like. so. I did add some corn flour mix, two tablespoons of corn flour, a dash of water, just to thicken it up a bit. Um, 
and I've skimmed off most of the excess vegetable oil on the top so it's not so oily but it's looking amazing and absolutely smells fantastic. My lamb and spinach curry pretty much ready to be plated well like I said earlier not plated I'm going to lay it all out and then I'm just going to show you guys what we have got for tea. See you soon. Right guys, our lamb and spinach curry is done. So let's see what else we have got for our feast this evening. So, here we go. Start with our lamb and spinach curry. Looking, smelling awesome. Basmati rice, poppadoms. These are garlic and chili poppadoms from Tesco. Microwave for one minute each, bang, done. Chapatis, quickly warm through sorted and then we have our yogurt and mint dip yogurt not sorry yogurt and cucumber raita dip homemade and our tomato onion dip also homemade so there we are guys our feast is ready to eat so let's go and get our one and only guest for this evening my over off so i'm gonna sit down tuck in and enjoy i'll see you at the next recipe video guys if you want to see uh, a recipe video for the two dips, leave a comment below and let me know, and I will do that 100%. So I'll see you all very, very soon. Peace, guys.